YouTube, this is Night of Misfortune bringing you yet another video covering a game of Star Wars Empire at War. I want to show you this new mod that has come out, a uh, beautiful, beautiful mod, and I really want to show you how, uh, first of all, to install this mod. So let's begin with that. I'll show you a, quite an easy and simplified, hopefully, uh, way of doing this uh, that worked for me. So let's go get to it. All right. So. Before you even start anything, you want to make sure you have a uh, zip unzipper uh, application. So what I use is the 7-Zip. It's a pretty simple application. There's also, you know, WinRAR, I believe is what it's called. You can use that. But 7-Zip is pretty, uh, pretty easy. You just got to make sure that you download the correct uh, uh, application. Just download that, click on the executable, and install just like any other program. So I already have this, so I won't be going, uh, won't be downloading this. I think it's uh, fairly simple. The second thing you want to do is go obviously to the mod uh, page, which is uh, right there. I will post the link down below in the description. Um, and you want to scroll down to uh, the files. You want to download the um, the remake. Well. This is currently, um, but chances are that you're going to have the same uh, files or the same kind of setup. So you're going to have a remake and then you're going to have maybe a stability fix or a patch. So this is the full version. You must have this and then the patch. So you want to download both unless you just want to have the f a full version that works too. Um, it's just this uh, in this example, I currently have access to um, stability issue fixes for multiplayer. I don't know if I'll ever play that, but you know, it's there. It might take a hot minute for it to actually install. As you can see, it's uh, four minutes here. So I'll be right back when it finishes installing. So once it's done downloading, uh, and it can take, you know, a different amount of time. For me, it took around five minutes, and my internet is not the slowest one around there. So it can take quite a while for it to download, especially the the, the full version of the patch. Uh, anyway, you want to go to your downloads, and if you set it up right, uh, if this is where it downloads, this should have both of your files right here. You want to uh, right-click on them, and then you want to cut. Then you want to navigate yourself to your location of your saved game in Steam. So for me, it is, let's go ahead and uh, jump back here. Let's go jump to my uh, main uh, installation. So I have several Steam libraries. So mine is located in, in here. So Steam, uh, chances are yours is also going to be called the same thing unless you changed it. Um, but chances are you won't need this tutorial if you change it. Uh, then you're going to go to Steam Apps. Then you're going to go to Common. Then you're going to find the Star Wars Empire at War. You're going to find the corruption file. And then here you're going to have something that looks like this. You're going to want to create a mods folder. Now you're going to want to create a new folder and then mods. So just type in just like that mods, click enter. Then you want to go in here and you want to paste those two files that you've had before. It can take again a hot second depending on your uh, computer. And then you want to install these so they won't work like this. This is where you need the 7-zip. So for me, all I need to do is right click, extract here. It's going to take just a moment, again, depending on your computer. Uh, so I will be right back. Don't want to bore you with this. All right, so now that that's done, the first file, you want to do the same thing with the second file, extract here. This one is going to take much, much quicker. And now you're ending up with these uh, files. So you can delete these two here. Uh, you don't need them anymore because you've extracted all of their information. So that is fine. So now you are ready to uh, proceed to the actual launching of the game. However, there's a couple of more steps. So in Steam, you want to go to your library find the uh, Star Wars Empire at War. Now what you're going to want to do is uh, right click on it and then, well first of all, make sure you have the gold pack. So you have to have that with the, obviously with the mods on it installed. And you're going to want to click properties. Then you're going to want to uh, click on set launch options and you're going to want to copy and paste this code, which I can post in the bottom of the video. And also it's available on the mod download with the instructions, but you can copy and paste this from the video. Um, and then uh, just press OK and then close that. And then you are ready to launch. So let's go ahead and play that. 
what you're going to want to do is select forces of corruption for it to work and then hopefully it will work so just give it a minute to launch and you see that already it is uh, beginning to work here with the logo for the mod so it's just going to take a while to load and then you should be in the game ready to go all right, so the final thing to add there is if you ever want to play this game in its original version, then that's really easy. All you have to go back into that those launch options we just modified and delete that line we copied and pasted in there and then you'll be able to launch the game normally. So originally I intended to make this uh, kind of a let's play uh, of the whole campaign, but then I realized uh, through some painful minutes that uh, the mod currently does not support ground. I think there were versions that did, but currently with this uh, completed space mod, there is no such option. So I'm going to save the let's play until that comes out and that's going to be a great game. It's going to be a great experience. I'll definitely bring you a full let's play then, but I feel like a, a better example of a better I guess a way to show you the, what what this mod is currently is to do a skirmish battle so we're gonna jump into that skirmish battle we're gonna go ahead and uh, set these to Battle of Coruscant uh, and then we are going to just uh, start the game here now I've seen this game and this game is just gorgeous um, uh, I haven't seen some of the cooler units so hopefully maybe this will let me do so so let's go ahead and uh, looks like this is the Battle of Coruscant so this is just showing you what you can expect and this is absolutely gorgeous like this is the this is the actual Battle of Coruscant from obviously episode 3 and this is just showing you what they have done with uh, the game. So I think the state of the game right now is mostly, um, I'm gonna go into cinematic mode here. I think the, 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 the thing about this right now is just seeing what they've been doing and showcasing uh, just the models and the effects. I mean, they're doing such a gorgeous job, obviously. Look at this, uh, you know, droid. Um, a spaceship here and a the control Thrusters station and, and then the rebel well not the rebel <laughs> it's like a total noob right now these are not rebels these are um the uh republic ships yeah Beginning just totally on like planking on everything uh anyway so that's a good showcase of that well youtube i hope you enjoyed this video i wanted to leave you off with this uh, just amazing epic battle between an executioner and a uh, Viscount here. Uh, this is just a, a showcase of what they have done. This, this thing is fairly impressive. I think this thing has been getting so much attention uh, and rightly so. But in any case, um, thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more Star Wars content, if you want to see more Empire at War content once this mod actually does come out, or maybe even without a mod, uh, I can do a, a playthrough of just the uh, the normal <laughs> game. Uh, just let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe to me and check my Discord out. It's the best way to follow me. And then check out all the things, my Patreon, my uh, Instagram, and uh, help support me. It helps me out quite a bit. So thank you again very much for watching and take care YouTube.